What is the creepiest thing you've seen in the woods, or in the mountains, or in deserts, or caves, or in small towns, or in remote or rural areas or while on large bodies of water, or while on an aircraft or a nautical vessel? I was driving home after an extremely late night at work, I lived in the middle of nowhere, about a mile before I got there a woman covered in blood jumped out of the woods into the middle of the road screaming. I panicked and went around her then slammed on the brakes to help. Her boyfriend had beaten her and was currently chasing after her in the woods. I got her in my car and called the police, they met us at the hospital because I told them there was no way I was waiting on the side of the road when he was coming. Not sure if this is the kind of story you're looking for, but it's a fun one to tell so here you go. I used to work in low-income home weatherization, basically giving free garbage away to help lower electricity and gas bills and make the home more comfortable to people who really needed it, installing doors and insulation and so forth. One step in qualifying a home is testing combustion appliances to make sure they're not emitting carbon monoxide into the living space, because if they are and we seal up the house we could kill the whole family. During a pre-inspection of a home on the outskirts of the city, I ask to see the owner's water heater, he tells me that it's in the basement, which is fairly normal, and I tell him I have to inspect it before work can start, so, he goes into the kitchen and starts moving the refrigerator, turns out the entry into the basement is underneath carpeting beneath the fridge. I should note that I went and did thousands of homes over the years, and had never seen such a thing dot but, whatever, needs to be done regardless and so I pull out my flashlight and shine it down the stairs, to check out the layout, but really to look for black widow spiders because fluff black widows, at this point I notice a dead cat, mostly down to a skeleton. Not my favorite sight, but really common in crawlspaces and basements. I take a few steps down the stairs and continue my spider check, and notice another couple of small animal skeletons, at this point I start to worry about gas, or poisons, or something equally dangerous, and start looking closer. There are animal skeletons everywhere, at least 10 on a cursory look. Some of them are so degraded I can't determine what they used to be. I also happen to notice that this guy is waiting at the entrance a little too quietly, with his hand on the door, something clicks in my brain and I get this immense sense of danger. I'm about four steps from the door being clear to close, I have no partner on the job with me, there's death all around me, and I realize just how hidden the entrance to the basement really was, I noped the fluff out, told the guy I needed extra tools and would be back, and marked the job as non-feasible for health and safety as I was driving away. I have no idea if I was actually in any danger, it could have been completely innocent, but I still remember the adrenaline rush and sense of doom, and sometimes you just don't take chances, edit, obligatory, oh my god, first gold ever, thanks, kind stranger, also edit, I'm getting asked frequently if I reported this guy to the police, and there's a lot of concern about the dead animals. I did not file a formal report, mainly because nothing I saw was entirely out of the ordinary. Crawl spaces and basements have venting at the base of the house, and it's really common for animals to squeeze in and then not be able to get back out. If you have space under your house there's a decent chance something has died down there. You get used to it when your job takes you down there frequently, now, this was an extreme case and clearly everything put together raised concern enough for me to get the fluff out, but the sad fact of working with low-income families is that you see how lousy their lives can be. You learn not to do anything to make their lives any harder, and I took a lot of pride from the fact that my job made their lives just a bit better. I didn't think that my being scared for a minute was enough to involve the police, you know? I'd been at football training with a few of my cousins when I was about 10 years old, we decided to take a walk before our parents picked us up, so we went along the canal towpath. My cousin looked down in the canal and say a really nice jacket floating along and being a weird scavenger person decided to reach in to fish it out, well, the jacket turned over, and so did the man wearing it. He also had no face left, not gonna lie, that was rough. This is probably less scary than a lot of the other posts but I was pretty sure I was going to be the nameless victim at the start of a horror movie to show how dangerous the monster is, basically, my dad and I were walking through the woods when we came across a young moose leg lying on the ground, it looked like it had been violently torn off with no sign of the rest of the moose anywhere. It was fresh with blood still on the wound probably no more than a couple hours old. 
My dad is a pretty skilled hunter so he handed me his axe that he was carrying and told me to watch for wolves while he started looking for tracks, after a little bit he came back saying, that's weird, normally if it was wolves you'd be able to find paw prints but I can't see any, also no bear prints so I have no idea what killed this, and so I'm like you didn't find any tracks at all, and his very reassuring response was, well I did find what appears to be the mama moose tracks headed this way, showing me the tracks, you can see how her stride is a lot longer here, whatever killed her baby she didn't want to fight it she just took off running, he then pulls out his bear spray and holds it at the ready as we kept walking deeper into the woods with the unnamed non-track leaving predator armed with bear spray and an axe. Found a deer with its hind end ate up, few feet away was a coyote with the hind end ate up, then another few feet away a fox with its hind end ate up, nothing else was there, no bullet holes or signs of a arrow or anything else. Couldn't find any tracks from other people or animal. It was pretty creepy, found in the hills of WV. I was driving through rural parts of Missouri with a buddy, we drove down a single lane road that had no exit, at the end of the road, there was a group of deer corpses laid in a perfect circle. I'd say there was at least 10 deer, we BTFO real quick, edit, spelling. I was mountain biking in the woods and I came across an East Asian looking man in a perfectly fitted suit and a briefcase, just casually walking through the woods. When I was about 7 or 8, my parents sent me to a local summer camp that they would pick me up from in the afternoons. I never really liked it because the kids were mean, everything was either broken or not clean, and the counselors obviously didn't care. I remember the girls' changing room had a door that lead out to the woods but the doorknob was gone so it was unlocked all the time and you could see into it. This was primarily where the girls changed into their bathing suits and there was usually someone blocking the view while we changed so the boys couldn't look in. Well, one day I'm changing alone and someone wasn't blocking the door. I look over and see an eye peeping in through the hole watching me change. I pull the rest of my clothes back on quickly and run out to tell my twin brother. I tell my dad that I don't want to go back to that camp anymore and he begrudgingly takes us out of the camp pretty soon after because he knew how much we hated it. Years later, the camp has been closed down for many many years and I'm asking my dad about it. He gets really grim and tells me it shut down because a 13-year-old boy had raped 7-year-old girl in the woods right behind the girl's bathroom a few weeks after I had told him about someone watching me change, edit, a word. In a patch of trees off of a field near where I keep my horse there's one of those big oil drums sealed up with a very heavy boulder on top, the only way it could have got there is being placed by a tractor or some sort of heavy lifting equipment. My partner and I tried to push it off but no luck. I don't know why but it creeps me out every time I see it. I regularly walk my dogs past it to see if they show any interest but honestly after watching them look for a toy that was in clearly in my lap I'm not sure I have much faith in them anymore. Update thanks to everyone who commented, y'all made me realize that it could be something a bit creepier than I first thought, so I've reported it to 101. The officer I spoke to didn't sound particularly interested but at least I know it's out of my hands and I don't have to live with guilt if something is found. I intended on getting up there myself yesterday to have a look, but I had a pretty brutal physio session that left me pretty much incapacitated for the day. I'm off up tonight after work so hopefully if the police haven't got there before me I might still be able to take some pictures for everyone. I thought my better half had taken a photo of it before but I can't seem to find it in her phone, anyway thanks again guys for putting the fear in me and making me do the right thing. I was on a camping trip with some friends of mine and we found like 7 or 8 chipmunks and squirrels all in a pile but they were all dead without arms or legs, edit, this is my highest rated comment thank you. Cowlitz River, Washington State. Camping with my dad and sister me buddies, early 90s. Something was throwing rocks and sticks into our camp. We shined a flashlight out and caught a reflection of eyes and a siloid, very very tall, kept throwing stuff in our camp randomly for about 15 minutes, we just stoked the fire really high. In the morning I woke up to heavy footsteps in our camp and something reeked, woke up my dad, he shook the tent and yelled, whatever it was ran off. My girlfriend and I were hiking along some abandoned railroad tracks and we get to a small bridge going over a little creek. I'm about to go explore under the bridge when she points something out. I look over and in the woods across from us I see a guy. I am like whatever and keep headed down to the creek area and then the guy stands up and he's naked. We immediate backtrack pretty quickly to get away from there and once we're like one minute down the trail I look back and this naked dude is just standing in the middle of the trail watching us walk away. 
I was a cook on board several NOAA research ships. Up in the Bering Sea, I saw what appeared to be a massive, black, triangular-shaped craft dive under the water. I viewed it from a distance of maybe two nautical miles. I am a night owl so used to stay up late at the computer lab on my university campus, it was open until 2 a.m. I was walking home and there were about four to six people covered in burlap robes and giant hoods, sitting cross-legged on the quad, the next morning, those fluffers were still there, it was a chicken wire and burlap fluffing art piece, edit, words. Went on a mountain hike in Transylvania with a group of friends from school, and way up, after maybe 12 to 14 kilometers of trekking, we saw a house, dot was in the middle of nowhere. It had a barn, with a few animals, couple of cows, chicken, etc. As we get closer, we see a few people, a guy and five to six women. Not sure if there were more inside, the dude comes to greet us, barely speaking the language, we had a hard time understanding what he's saying, they lived without electricity, gas, anything. This is in the early 90s, so there's no internet, mobile phones to worry about, at least for most people, anyway, they all look weird, kinda dumb expressions on their face, we can barely understand each other, they asked us who's the president now, and if we want some milk, they look at our clothes and shoes weirdly, curious, like who knows when is the last time they had human contact. Or maybe there were more crazies around those parts, dunno, not sure to this day what was going on, it's not typical in the region, so we kinda freaked out, especially cause the dude looked a bit disturbed, and we were too young. We were looking around to see if there's more of them, paranoia was getting to us, thinking there must be a village nearby. What was also weird is that all the women kept their distance, and never got close to us, like he was guarding them, or checking us out, if it's safe for them. One of my friends kept saying we don't want their milk, and we need to go, cause it's getting dark, we walked calmly for a while, then when we thought we're out of their sight, bolted like crazy out of there. Needless to say, we camped after a few hours, and we always had one person awake to keep watch, we told people that were living in the villages near that area, about the, mountain people, and they didn't believe us. They said nobody lives there, up in the mountains.